Walmart recently updated a couple of new blow molds for Halloween 2024. Let's check them out. Starting off with this very fancy skull. I think he has a little bow tie and of course a top hat. He is $15 and if you see in the picture here, he actually has a light bulb. It's not LED. The dimensions say he's about 14 inches tall, so I think he's going to be close in size to this one from Target. I feel like this is what everybody in the blow mold community has been asking for. I assume people want it to be a lot bigger, but it has the light bulb, no LED in sight. People are gonna love this. Next up is this pumpkin stack. We have been getting a lot of pumpkin stacks this year, but I feel like this one is super unique because it comes with a cute little witch hat. It's the same price point, it's $15. It has the light bulb, comes in a little bit taller than the skull at 17 inches tall. So that's a really good price point for that if that does end up being the price. I think uh, 17 inches tall would be close to the size of this guy. So that'll be really interesting. And then we have this cat and it may look familiar because we did get a version of this from Lowe's, I believe last year. Almost entirely identical. The mouth colors are a little bit different. Looks like Lowe's might have been red. And then Walmart's is going to be orange-ish, but when you see it in person, they may be the same. So if you bought this from Lowe's last year, you might not have to get it this year. And the final one that they loaded, which I think is super unique, is this pumpkin scarecrow. He does have the lights. There is no LED. Looks like he's about to be the same price point of $15 and he's 17 inches tall, same as the pumpkin stack. Doesn't necessarily fit my aesthetic, but I do appreciate him. He's super unique. I feel like this is gonna be perfect for someone in particular. That person is not me, but it it's a great piece, super unique. Walmart is slated to get a couple other blow molds, supposedly, but I'm not exactly sure. I hear rumors of them getting a version of the Chucky one, but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. I'm not even sure if Target's gonna get the one that they're supposedly supposed to get, so we'll see. I'm really holding out hope for the Chucky, like that is my end all be all. I am so into Chucky right now, and I have been dying for licensed blow molds for years. If I had the money to invest in it myself to like create them, I would because I think it's a genius idea. So I'm really happy that this company is starting to make them. I just really hope that they come out this year because they have had <clears throat> licensed ones in the past that they never released, like a Beetlejuice one. Um, I'm wondering if that will ever see the light of day. I'm thinking it probably won't, but you never know. Anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. If you are interested in handmade wax belts, check out hasselwaxmelts.com. Bye.